could so PR this for you. Make sure that you seem with a really cool guy. Um, a Justin Bieber looking like well, him. Oh, don't talk daft. She doesn't need any PR. Everybody at that wedding thinks I have a lesbian sister. How is this now about you? You pass us that butter, son. Claire Peacock has never got over the house swap. She's not mentally ill. She's not semi detached either, that's her problem. <laughs> Making nasty accusations because she's jealous. Lesbian, my eye. It's called friendship. Not that hers are queuing round the block. There are no dungarees in this house, thank you very much. <laughs> she's a perfectly good barmaid, and you would know right sacking her in the first place. You know, when I married your son, I became your daughter in law. Might want to have a little think about that. I just want my pub to run smoothly and not kill myself in the process. Uh, she went for our Kylie. Your Kylie? Your son's sister-in-law. The chick. Don't fall out over me, Bex. Oh, what a sweet little lamb. Well, you know what, Liz? We're just going to have to see what Stevie says about all this, aren't we? You Yankees, Jane, he'll say it. But Michelle's stopping. I'm sorry about before. I thought you'd want me to keep my big gob shut. Yeah, definitely. You heard my mum. Nasty accusations. Like being gay is disgusting. You're 15. You don't know what you are. Dad, I am in love with a girl, OK? And you're the one that's confused about that, not me. OK, I might say the wrong thing. I'm just your clumsy old dad, and I'm not very, uh, PC. Don't call me confused, okay? It's really insulting. Okay. And Shan's not confused either. She's just bricking it in case her dad finds out. And was you bricking about telling me? Yeah. I suppose I just didn't want you to be disappointed in me. That'd never happen. Yeah. You say that, don't you, but deep down. You're 15. You know, it could be a phase, it could fizzle out. You wish. Have you never thought about I'm kissing Tyrone or Ashley? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Have you? No. But, Dad, you know you're straight, OK? I know I'm not. Come here. I don't want Mum to know, though. You underestimate her? No, Dad. Because you know what she's like, and she'll get mad, and she'll stop me from seeing Sean. Oh, she'll be really hurt that you didn't no, trust her. No, Dad, you can't tell her, because if okay, you tell her... OK, OK. You know what the doctor said? He told her not to get stressed out, and this will really stress her out. Hey. And on that, you've never disappointed me. You wouldn't know how to. I respect you. And I'll support you always. Will you be happy for me? I'll get there. How's he doing? He's alive, which is obviously a bonus. They let me spend the night with him. Dev? We mustn't forget it's been ten. We're going up a bit later. I can't stop thinking about him. Yeah, well, that would have been more useful before you planned him off onto two teenagers. I am sure nothing happened to us. They were looking after him. We left him with you. Yeah, I know, and I wasn't gone that long. I can't believe you're trying to pass the book like this. I'm not. Sophie and Sean are good girls. I just wanted you to have all the facts. The facts are our son almost died. And all you're worried about is how to save your own neck. Leave it! Leave it. Oh, my daughter, a lesbian again. And I'm gonna get a solicitor on you for slander. Leave it! Dear me! I mean, you're still not a full shilling. Maybe you need to get a solicitor of your own. You can sue the NHS. Oh, let's be in my eye. If I weren't lottery, I'd buy my own boozer and kick out anyone I didn't like for no good reason. <sighs> Sounds perfect. Molly Face, out. Giving it all out about property prices. <laughs> Do one. Tight wads who never tip. Who's is this? 
That is Steve's. It was making a point. Looks brand new. He's ridden it once, fallen off it twice. What a waste. He's got all the gear to match as well. A few hundred quids worth of kit rotting away in some cupboard. It was a very expensive midlife crisis. Right, are we fit? Going into town. Oh. She's going to treat me to something I don't like. You got to look the part, Kai. We don't want to fall at first hurdle. Try to get my kid back. It's all go. <laughs> Sally Bright, Miss on the phone. Don't worry about my pyjamas. Better lie down, I'm not off my rocker. Yeah, you. I like your jammers. How would you feel about a straight jacket? Look, that wedding's not you for six. Becky has stood up for you, she heard him. Maybe. You just gotta keep it in proportion. I'm being called a child batterer, Ashley. You can stick proportion. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're tarred with the same brush, not as husband. That can't be much fun. I've got thick skin. And a meat cleaver. Do you know what? I got to win the Nobel Peace Prize. I got climb Everest. And I'd still be loopy Clary who lost the plot and tried to kill a baby. When I was out of my mind with shh, depression. Shh, 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 shh. It'll blow over, love honest. And I'm supposed to be grateful when it does. No. They might be able to forget, but I won't. I can't. People who have known me for years think that I might have hurt Addy. Lost me rag and lashed out to a five-year-old boy. Underneath all the chit-chat and the fake friendliness, that's what people really think of me. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to kiss her. Is it me or are people looking at us funny? She you. You've been crying? Yeah, why aren't you? Only when I'm awake. Look, I told my dad it's true. You never. Sophie! I needed to. Yeah, well, I need to just keep your gob shut. I'm sorry. We said we'd deny it. Chinese, my dad. I wanted to. I can't believe you've done this to me. And you didn't freak out. He said he still loves me. And yeah, I made up for yourself. He wants me to tell my mum. Oh, why don't we hire the town all out, eh? And make a big announcement about it. I know we'll end up telling her. And when he does, I know she won't let me see you again. Then you can visit my grave, can't you, after my dad's murdered me? I believe the cat's out the bag, girls. Congratulations. This place is like a goldfish bowl. It's just gonna get worse and worse. I can't not see you. Same. Oh. Don't just get off, yeah? Disappear. You mean like, run away? It's the only way we can stay together. <laughs> what do you think to this one? Yeah, nice, whatever. Nice? Vicar's wife. Didn't that say Vicar's wife to you? I, I, I don't know any Vicar's wives. Or, or Vicar's. Leave him alone now, Kai. He's a baby now. I'll wear it to my flower arranging night class. What's your problem, man? No Vicar's wife ever seen dead in that. Honest. <laughs> like the right top's gonna convince social services I'm a fit mother. We've just got to play their game. The whole system's against me. I'm a scumbag. You're Max's mum, Max. End of. Oh, it's Pete. You can come to a wedding, Kai. It was dead romantic. Hitched without a hitch? Yeah, there was a slight transportation problem, but just made the day more special, really. A blessing in disguise. How wonderful. Forensics are all over it, mind. Just in for big, fat fingerprints. Proper Quincy job, in it. Mm, white boiler suits, the works. 
Not that I really need it, mind. Oh, loved up on cloud ten. <laughs> Sorry, I blew my top before. Is that right? At least I know you're better. Back to normal. I'm supposed to apologise too. Hey? That's what apologies are, Kevin. We meet each other halfway. <laughs> what have I done? If you back me up a bit with Claire Peacock, I mean, defended your daughter's good name. Kevin, she's been called a lesbian left, right and centre because of that silly cow. Would it be so bad? I'm serious. If you found out Sophie was gay, would your sky fall in? What are you saying? Claire's right. She owns more than Sophie's, mate. They're a couple. Where were you at five o'clock? I was having a bit of Stevie time. It's like Chico time, only Stevie. Oh, all right for some. My feet are killing me. Well, it's your lungs I worry about. They say there are children learn by example, don't they? I know you've been avoiding me. You need to set Beckett straight about Michelle. Consider it done. Or better still, find it out amongst yourselves. Where's your bike gone? Have you moved it? What? My bike's gone! Flaming Kylie. I don't believe it. I've not been walking for once today. <sighs> Where are you skulking off to? Uh, please tell me you're not running away. You've got it in one. <sighs> Sophie, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to tough it out. Most people are going to think it's true. It is true, OK? It's true. I'm in love with Shan, and if I stick around here any longer, Rosie, people are going to try and split us up, especially my mum. Please, it's all fair. never have said that if I'd have known. Because <laughs> apparently I need a PR strategy. Because I've been called the worst thing in the world. <gasps> Sophie! <laughs> I'm a stupid cow and you know that. <laughs> you know... <sighs> Sophie, I wish I was a kind of sister you feel you could talk to. Yeah, well you are. Now. <laughs> right, um... That's all I've got. Thank you. <laughs> Tell my dad not to worry, okay? I'll be fine. <laughs> I've got a call. <laughs> be careful, yeah? Come on, Sam. With face words, you should know that better than anyone. Let you be Kevin. She's confused, that's all. She didn't sound confused to me. Teenage hormones. I mean, Sean will have just led her on. He said they're in love. Why did she confide in you and not in me? Because she didn't want you getting stressed. You said Claire's been making nasty allegations. I didn't know. Kevin, I don't think lesbians are nasty. Of course they don't. I mean, Mary Queen of Shops, she's a lesbian. Who? Mary Queen of Shops. And I love Mary Queen of Shops. Sophie knows that, because we've watched her together <sighs> loads of times. <sighs> well, why did she tell you and not me? I mean, I'm a mum. I don't know. Maybe it was in the right place at the right time. Look, she's got it off her chest now. It can't have been easy for her. Do you know, Kevin, life's hard enough when you're straight. Her life is going to be so hard. Hey! 
The usual, Stevie. And Michelle's P45 on a plate, please. My bank's been nicked. Joking me. And what are you looking at her for? Because Mum said Carly was admiring it. Only this afternoon. Where is she? Plain detective. I believe you're calling my sister a thief. I'm putting two and two together and making a big fat fall. Why would I want to rob it? I was going to ask if I could have a go on it. Really? And you think she's been on Robin Hall, don't you? I just... It does, yeah. ...said it wasn't beyond the realms. He's such a wuss. Pathetic. Give a dog a bad name. Your eyes were like saucers when you clocked that bag. But where is your evidence? Because, you see, she's been with me all afternoon. Apart from when I romp bog. And I think I would have noticed if that big heap of junk could have been with you. All right, fair enough. Come on, Mum. Should have clocked off an hour ago. And before you go, my sister needs an apology. And on heart, I didn't rob your bike. OK. Great. Case closed. I'm going now. Girl, life's too short, eh? Mostly, I think it's too long. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> oh. I am such a bird brain. Guess who nearly missed the hospital scan? Oh, what? No way. I made it with literally three minutes to spare. I could feel the baby's heartbeat pounding as I'm legging it down the corridor. Oh, nah. <laughs> wow. It's a. Baby? Huh. It's our baby. You're not crossing. <laughs> of course not. I'm just getting we weren't in there together. It's amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh, excuse us. I'll see you back at the ranch. Hiya! Oh, oh. can I have a look at your scan? Oh, I'm all behind me locking up. Oh god, I'm just a quick shot. Well, You've got it in your pocket. These I really need to lock it's up. Mine! Oh. Isn't it? You stole my scan. One sleeping bag and one large chocolate bag. Well, I've got four oil galas, two tangerines, and two cans of lemonade. Solid. <laughs> Not. Not. Mm. So, um, I was thinking Scarpa maybe. What the lesbian capital of your No, these bar jobs and waitressing jobs. You know how much money have you got? £23. How will you give it, man? She knows you've liked it. She knows everything. And before you start kicking off, she was so supportive. She even emptied out a purse for us. I wish I had a sister. I can share mine. She's a mare. I just don't get it! What are you on? Stealing someone else's scam. I'm sorry. Passing it off as your own is just... I know. I'm sorry. I was desperate. I needed it to show Nick. You needed my scan to show Nick your baby. Anybody's scan would have done. But there you were. You drew the short straw. You're not pregnant at all, are you? I was. I swear. Oh, no. Oh, you poor thing. I'm sure Nick only wants me because of the baby. Oh. He's so looking forward to being a dad. I can't face telling him I'll lose him. What if he finds out? Well, he won't need to. Um, any day now, law of averages says I'll be up the duff. Oh, but what if he not? I will be. I have to pee. The stress of all these lies, though. That yeah, but that's my it. problem. What are you going to do in the meantime? Shove a cushion up your top? Well, I don't know. Any day now, I could get pregnant. Then, I just act a bit flaky on the math, so he thinks I'm flaky anyway. Don't look at me like that. Oh, you've got to tell him, Natasha. Hey, it might not be as bad as you think. 150, 200, 250, and 5,275. Is that it? Cash in hand, 50 50, like we agreed. It were a motorbike, not a flaming penny farthing. It's a buyer's market twinkle. Plus, there was a hulking great dent in it. 
this daylight robbery. It's a pleasure as always. Where are you off next? Quite like it round here. Bit of catch up time with missus. Because you're big on family, you. <laughs> Tell your brother in law, cheers. He's been sat there for months, if you must know. He's got that many toys, he's lost count. Sophie? Sophie? Has Sophie gone out? You could say that. Mum, she left you this. Oh, Gary, we're too late. Oh, come on, Mum, don't cry. They're gonna be all right. Where have they gone? I don't know. Dad, I really don't know. When did she go? Well, about an hour ago. She went to see Sean and she was dead happy. Well, she'd rather sleep on the streets than stop here. We've got to find her, Kevin. We've got to find her. <laughs> Poor Sally. Well, if you can't get enough of Corrie, head to itv.com slash Corrie now to play the brilliant new Coronation Street quiz. And next tonight, Real Crime with Mark Austin, Yvonne Fletcher, Justice Betrayed.